Let's say you have a fraction, like 12 over 30, and you want to reduce it. This can be done by finding the greatest common divisor of both numbers and dividing by that. The question is, how do you find the greatest common divisor? Well, you could find the factors of each number and select the greatest of those, or you could use a trick from around 300 BC, the Euclidean algorithm. One way to do this is with subtraction. We stack the two numbers A and B next to each other and see which one is larger. Then we subtract the smaller one from the larger one. We again check to see which one is larger and do the subtraction. We keep doing this again and again until both values are equal. The greatest common divisor will be either A or B in this case. Even though the subtraction-based method was the way Euclid originally envisioned, there are other ways to do it, like with division, specifically the modulus function. Now, for the record, the modulus function is probably the first type of division you learned in elementary school. 12 goes into 30 two times with a remainder of 6. In the version of the algorithm that relies on the modulus function, we take two values, a and b, and continually say that b equals a mod b, and then we set a to whatever b was before the division. We keep repeating this until b equals 0, and in this case, our greatest common divisor will be a. In most cases, the modulus-based method will complete in fewer steps than the subtraction-based one, so keep that in mind whenever using the Euclidean algorithm. Now, there's another way to visualize this method. If we start with a rectangle of size a, b, and divide this rectangle into as few squares as possible, the length of the smallest square will be the greatest common divisor. Now, depending on who you are, this could be more or less intuitive, but it's worth showing regardless. This algorithm is truly fundamental and has been used in a number of different areas throughout computer science history. But now for the question, are you as smart as Euclid? Well, let's find out. Like before, the chapter is up on the Arcane Algorithm Archive right now and is awaiting language-specific implementation. I'd be incredibly grateful if you would implement the Euclidean algorithm in your favorite language and send it to me via poll request, Twitter, or even in the comment section below. Also, thanks to these folks for submitting code to the Tree Traversal chapter last week. You guys rock. Now we need to talk about something. Here's the thing, you guys have completely blown me away with the support for the Algorithm Archive so far. There was seriously no way I could have expected so many different people to submit code in their own languages at this point in time. Because of this, I want to focus specifically on writing next week. In particular, I want to make a video on Git and version control focusing on how to submit to the Algorithm Archive from here on in. That said, I'm still looking for ways for us to communicate more as a community, so if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Toodles!